Hi everyone, welcome back, welcome to my YouTube channel and here I am Tarun Sharma and we are talking about Udemy clone application. So this is another full stack clone application I am going to build after completing the after completing the Swiggy clone, after completing the Stack Overflow clone application, I am going to build another full stack clone application which is uh, Udemy clone full stack app. So those two full stack clone apps are available on my channel. You can just go and take a look. Now we are talking about Udemy clone applications and we have already decided the tech stack. It's going to be the Nest JS and Express uh, based APIs. And at the front end, we are going to use the React and Next.js. I wanted to use Swellkit, but uh, I don't see much interest of, uh, I mean, I don't find much audience right now who are more interested in learning and doing things on Swellkit and Swell.js. So I will stick to React and the Next.js. And there are two different approaches and the architecture I have created. I will be talking more about the architecture and the components. Uh, here we are going to have a detailed sessions on the database design, what all services we are going to have, what all external interface we are going to have like uh, let's say if I want to use Auth0 for managing the users and uh, for authenticating authentication and authorization and how we are going to integrate with it. So this is the Auth0 external provider which will provide us authentication. Okay, you can just do a login with Auth0. So it Auth0 will give you a simple login console. When you click on to the login, it will take you to your front end login screen. And then you will get the access token and then you will start accessing the APIs here. Now there are two different approaches I'm going to discuss. And then based on the audience feedback, we will talk about one of it and implement the services. So we are going to build our services in the React and the Next.js. I will more focus on the Next.js because earlier clone applications I have built with the React. Now it's time to work on the Next.js, understand the, the Next.js 13 changes, use the, using the Next auth for managing the sessions at the server side and the client side. Because we are going to use the Next auth which that is becoming popular. And we can integrate even the auth0 also with auth uh, next auth. Next auth is a library and auth0 is an authentication provider. Like we have uh, other providers. So we'll be using auth0 like login with the Google, Facebook and all. Similarly, you can also uh, add a provider in next auth login with uh, auth0. Right. And then here our backend can be exposed to the either, either graphical gateway. But what happens is when I talk about this high level stuff, GraphQL gateway and building the start building the services of Nest.js with the GraphQL. Sometimes people get confused and they are because more more of the developers are more comfortable writing the REST APIs or tiny Nest.js services. And setting up the Apollo GraphQL gateway and writing that much code I have already done. So I will choose one of it based on the audience feedback. We can just use the Apollo GraphQL Federation and then build all these services which are going to expose the GraphQL interface and will be exposed through this gateway. So the end user like the end client which is the React and Next.js is going to use this uh, GraphQL interface to get the data to access the data from the APIs. And here we are going to have a user preference service, a core service which will have a to which will have multiple tables to because what a Udemy clone application is, you do the login. Either you can search for the existing free content. There you will see the, the, the introductory video and then you will get a module and sections. This is how you design a particular course, right? You will have, you will design the course into multiple modules. Every module will have a uh, video items with the description and all. And you will attach the video for each and every detail uh, menu item so there will be a courses uh, let's talk about simple courses only you should be able to see lots of courses on the landing page when you go inside it you will be able to see the modules multiple modules of the courses and every module will have some set of videos attached to it because it's it's like a video content you are you have published then the reviews and user can also reviews can also do the review for the courses which anybody has published after just going through it. 
and ratings reviews and ratings adding comments and then file manager service to upload the, the file videos and then user preference service where you want to set your user preferences and we are going to use postgres as a database to persist the data so it's like all microservices tiny microservices we are going to write all these services are going to expose the graphql interface or this is another architecture just a copy of it but it is using the rest interface because i want to give it a try because these are like these type of architecture we are already using we are already using a react and nextjs at the client side i mean at the for the ui components nextjs is the server side rendered uh, not only just like okay rendering the client side same as react but ssr create react app is csr and the next js is server side rendering application so here we can just expose a simple proxy gateway proxy gateway can be a tiny node.js service which will forward the requests to the to the target services and here it can authorize things it can authenticate your access token uh, against auth0 so it can be a simple express app which also provides the gateway interface but will have a middleware so that all the the protected apis will pass through this after validating the token and then you will access the same set of services so these are the two different architecture pattern i have decided i mean we are going to use in nestjs microservices also to do some some kind of events and all we can use uh, some architecture uh, def architecture which has the microservices and all those things and here this is the proxy gateway which is going to redirect your requests to all these different set of microservices okay and we can use auth0 for user management and we can have this uh, react and nextjs applications integrated with the auth0 client client app id to show the login screens okay so this is the initial draft i have created for our udemy app and we are going to write lots of code here we are going to use a pnpm monorepo uh, with nx tooling so nx is the monorepo tool and the pnpm workspace we are going to use i'm already using that from my list uh, last uh, couple of projects so now if you are watching my earlier videos you are familiar otherwise i will build the things from scratch okay putting all the configurations creating the workspace creating the packages creating the applications and also <coughs> creating a setup to build and deploy this application so that's it let's bootstrap uh, our application then we will do the architectural discussion then database discussion and then we will start designing things on the client side and on the server side